Historical theology gives students of God's Word an overview of Christian doctrine through the centuries. Now, where church history gives you facts about what happened in history, historical theology gives you how theological ideas formed and what impact those ideas had on the Christian church. In taking an overviewed survey of historical theology through the centuries, you must have a planned approach to covering certain events. Now, this isn't meant to be an exegetical overview of biblical doctrine. That would be biblical theology or systematic theology. Rather, historical theology familiarizes one with basic concepts through Christian history. Now, church history is of vital importance to historical theology since it gives a context in which it was produced and defined. And systematic theology attempts to create statements of faith with the leading doctrines of the Christian Bible. But historical theology embodies both history and theology as a way of informing us as to what has been believed and what corrections, improvements, or adherence needs to be made in the present based on that information. Where did the word Trinity come from? Who was Arius the heretic, a teacher of bad doctrine? What did the early church fathers believe on baptism? These questions are answered in the realm of historical theology. Historical theology was first prominent during the Reformation and the need to go back to the original sources of the Bible. This was called ad fontis, back to the sources. The systematician should remember critically that it is nearly impossible to do theology as if it had never been done before. So historical theology then is used both as a tool for systematic theology and as a critical thinking tool highlighting various important doctrines throughout history as key elements of the Christian faith. And since historical theology is so important, and since there was no simple overview of historical theology available, most of the books and works out there are seminary textbooks, I decided that an easy to understand work should be written. So this work, Historical Theology Made Easy, follows key Christian beliefs chronologically discussing the most important movements and doctrinal developments for theology according to the historical appearance. So it offers students of the Bible the opportunity to study the historical development of theology according to God's providence throughout the history of the Christian church. And this approach allows readers to concentrate practically on the development of Christian teachings and their formulation in the early church through the Middle Ages, through the Reformation, through the post-Reformation, and even into the modern period. It includes key primary source citing quotes from people like Irenaeus, Augustine, Aquinas, Luther, Calvin, the Puritans, and many others. It makes historical theology, which is often overwhelming, easy to follow. Where did your beliefs come from? Someone thought them before you did. So historical theology made easy will show you simply how those ideas came about.